so is an example for resilience i would feel this project itself so firstly it has given immense confidence and as i said beyond the euphoria of success there is a sense of pride which has come among every israelite wherever we go we are received with so much respect and so much warmth and love hi i'm kalpana you're watching me on femina.in it gave immense satisfaction i would say because whatever goal we had taken up we have achieved and that too in a very perfect way it was a phenomenal display of our effort and our total team whatever we had put in for the past four years it was a display of that on the screen what we saw there so the first feeling i would say was immense satisfaction our whole team has experienced this this is not just my feel it's our total feel team sir uh, experience i would say it was at most jubilation i would say because it is an outcome of all the efforts that has gone in and that too after chandrayaan 2 we had taken taken up this particular task with the uh, most commitment and we had put in our best efforts and did whatever required so it was a fruit of all these uh, efforts which had gone in sincere effort which had gone in by the team so that was what which gave immense satisfaction and the total team cherished that moment and it was at most jubilation it first thing is yes i got an opportunity to even express what was going on, going on in my mind that is something which i'll cherish for my lifetime yes because i was part of that moment part of this project so and i could express what was in my mind that total experience is something i would feel i would cherish for my lifetime that's what i would say i did my bachelor of engineering in electronics and communication engineering from madras university and then on my interest was more towards taking up a job which involves core engineering so i was looking for more of electronics and communication related area of uh, jobs so that's how i i felt at that point of time isro was one go to place where core engineering is is the key there actually so i applied for a job and i got it in uh, shri rekota which is the launch base as you know so and there i joined as a radar engineer and then on um, i worked for around 5 years there and then i moved to bangalore on a transfer and then i took up a role as system engineer and then got exposed to different types of satellites remote sensing satellites and then i took up uh, the role as associate project director electrical systems for chandrayaan 2 so as you know chandrayaan 2 is a totally different type of a satellite where landing so demonstrating soft landing on luna surface was the mission goal so that was a totally different experience because a lot of new things we had to really build actually because a lot of advanced technologies had to be built so it was a total totally new experience as compared to the previous satellites and you know we could not uh, really achieve what we wanted that is soft landing but we could demonstrate a lot of new technologies whatever we had built we could demonstrate to a great extent extent so that gave the confidence to again take the mission forward and uh, really demonstrate that final goal and that's how chandrayaan 3 team was formed and we worked towards it with utmost commitment and we had put in our best efforts and what we saw that day was again history whole country had experienced that and rejoiced so that was how my journey has gone so i would say it's like um, it calls for a lot of balancing actually we need to take care of our health both physical health and mental health because that plays a key role in the execution of the project that to when we are going to steer the team and ensure that every team member is going to do the best we need to first be fit enough both mentally and physically and uh, ensure that things are happening in the right track so it's a big balance what we have to ensure so towards this i feel our near and dear play a key role actually our family support and uh, particularly when it comes to your own family members your husband your children your parents everyone comes to rescue so when really something is happening some challenging tasks are happening 
you have to be there irrespective of time without even minding your time if you have to be there if you have to be present there in total without even worrying about what is really happening at home i would feel that time that family support who stand by our side and take up our responsibilities and give us that confidence and the moral support and telling us that you take care what is really required and we are there to take care at that point of time i think if the work life balance calls for a lot of support structure they play a key role i think towards this my husband my daughter she is in her final engineering and my parents my sister i feel each and every one of our family member there were many moments where they, they really came into that moment and uh, took up shared my responsibilities and really made me comfortable and gave me that real comfort environment for me to work and concentrate on my work so i feel family friends near and dear everyone and you asked about my family but i would say team is one important factor there because the whole team whatever i told with respect to the family this is applicable to every team member so every team members family have played the same thing and that's how the whole team could work together and really do what is required what you really want because her first goal was when when i was really interested in pursuing my studies she really stood by that and she encouraged me so always whatever we need to pursue or achieve we have to be very confident and work towards that to the utmost our i think she was first role model and definitely there were in my organization i have seen many of my many senior senior scientists who have displayed this all these qualities so they all were also role models we see and grow i feel like we see and grow we mother around us are all also our own mother so like that many have played role in goal i feel uh, girl child or all the girl children who are in our country they are highly talented they can put also they are ready to put in their best hard effort hard work they are very sincere and they are ready to put in their best efforts all what is required is that encouragement so like how my mother my father encouraged me family should encourage them firstly they should identify their talent talents and they should encourage that only then they can further move forward so that encouragement is very much required and uh, wherever it is be it rural city children have more opportunities and all these opportunities should reach the rural areas also because they should also be exposed to all these opportunities and what are the various possibilities available they should also be exposed i feel so government and all the organizations also should do their best and financially also certain schemes should come up such that children girl child whoever is highly talented and possibly not receiving the support should be financially supported so that they are, they are able to come out with their talents i think it's like multiple things all put together everyone should support and bring out that talent of the girl child whatever we say first thing it has given an immense confidence in us as see second time we have gone we have worked towards that and hard work always pays so it's an example for resilience i would feel this project itself so firstly it has given immense confidence and as i said beyond the euphoria of success there is a sense of pride which has come among every israelite wherever we go we are received with so much respect and so much warmth and love so this is given us more and even more encouragement to take up even more bigger tasks the whole country has cherished this all of you know like it's not just individual team success or isro success the whole country has cherished this so this itself is a great amount of satisfaction what has brought to our team as well as isro so i think the total environment how the whole country has enjoyed this irrespective of age all these factor factors put together i feel it gives a lot of satisfaction and also a sense of pride which every isroite at this point of time is cherishing 
but this coming here and talking to you itself is a totally different experience which is actually this is not what what we have been doing on a routine something which we are really enjoying at this moment like you have given us a total different experience all these things are an outcome of chandrayaan 3 success what we have seen at least chandrayaan 3 when we took it up see failure is failure is something only when we quit as long as we are trying it is just that particular moment is only a hurdle so only when we quit we should call it a failure as long as we are trying and trying and trying the mission is on so definitely we are going to succeed i think that is what is we should never start a, we should not be worried about any particular it's only a shortcoming it's only a it's a hurdle i would feel like sincerely attempting we can reach the goal so i think chandrayaan 3 is a display of such a approach our goal whatever mission goal we have set whatever we have taken up whatever the management has given us the task which management has given us we have to achieve that we have to complete that i think that will keep us keep us going that should also be a me time for us i think like for women we always we keep thinking about our family about our job whatever our family members need it should also be some me time i feel not just help point of view we should to keep our mind relaxed our own hobbies and also how to take care of our mental as well as physical health so i think taking up a good hobby and uh, just enjoying certain our own moments will keep us cherished and uh, will enrich as i feel that will keep us going yes because i would say have it all means biologically we may be different see it's not about lifting some 100 kg weight or something see if you come to this particular task it's more of our intellectual capability how we handle it about our moral strength so it is not about the physical strength what we are trying to compete with men so it depends on what type of task we take up so i think accordingly we can uh, uh, prepare ourselves for the particular goal we, what we take up and we can do our best so when it comes to such a thing there is no difference at all i feel it depends on what type of goal even that if you are interested in that i think by properly groom if you are towards that by grooming yourself by preparing yourself you can compete for whatever you are really up to Hi I am Kalpana you are watching me on Kanada Tech